So this is my story with the Royal Enfield. I picked this at 2016 Marsh Grey 500 carburetor version. It was beautiful. When it's new, it's always amazing. Beautiful engine, beautiful power, beautiful pickup. And I had the passion, long rides, anything. And everything was beautiful. I think this... I think after 7,000 kilometers, 7,000 kilometers, I started having issues. There was a slap on the cam noise and and the engine sound started to go weird. Uh, and spares are very bad. I think 8,000 or 9,000 kilometer, I changed the chain sprocket. And, and the service guys are bad. They missed to replace the O-ring. That again fucked my engine completely badly. Worse, you know. So then later we figured out and fixed it, but still the noise were there and uh, and we asked the showroom guys to fix it and give for us. They said that's how the engine is and under the warranty they keep talking it is good, it's a normal sound. But after 27,000 kilometer, the 27,000 kilometer, my engine sound is like this. It's shit. So when we removed it, we figured out it had a complete piston slap, the engine uh, bearing is gone and all the something has completely broken inside the engine and they blocked the filters and the oil supply was not going well and it completely messed up the whole engine. So it's a big packet hole and Royal Enfields are always like this, even with my old Thunderbird I had the issue something like this and uh, even with before that even with my 350cc I had the aluminium engine and as well as this uh, this this series also but the standards were good you know the old standard iron engine were really good i never had this problem with these sort of things with them anyway now the spare parts are bad the royal enfield showroom guys don't know how to fix it or how to repair it properly and the quality is worse so my advice is please never ever buy royal enfield think before you buy a Royal Enfield and don't go in the same haul that I went through currently. Anyway, it made a big money to pay back and it's a donkey business, it kicks you back again. So I completely replaced every damn thing and I did through the half the showroom uh, service station like someone who I knew from Coimbatore, uh, he fixed and gave me. So we almost changed most of the things in the engine and now it's beautiful. So this was the process of changing. I recorded it. The one thing, only the cam shots were good. Other than that, most of the thing actually had screwed up. Well, what to do sometimes? It happens. No, it always happens with Royal Enfield. So please be careful and make sure that you don't buy Royal Enfield. If you buy it, use it for 10,000 kilometer and then sell it. So that's how it is. Because this, an engine cannot even guarantee a run for 27 to 30,000 kilometer then what the hell of engine quality they make so this is after fixing after completely overall